Okay, so here we've got a non-right angle, non-right angle triangle. I need to work out the area. Um, the area of the triangle, non-right angle triangle, is half A B sine C. This is the, on the formula page. Um, but we unfortunately don't have the right information for this at the moment. Um, let's just check how many marks it is. It's four marks. Um, we're going to have to do multiple stages. So we're going to have to work out um, the angles because for half a b sin c we need an angle with two with two lengths next to it. We need an angle with two lengths next to it. We don't have that at the moment so we're going to have to work out the other angles which we can do using the sine rule. So we've got we're going to work out this angle here. So it's the sine rule is for angles sine a over a equals sine b over b again given to us on the formula page. So in our example sine x which we're working out over 36 equals sine the other angle 48 over 57. Sine x is therefore, we get sine x by itself by multiplying both sides by 36. So sine 48 over 57 times 36. And then we can put this in the calculator now. And we're going to get x by itself by shift sign in. So it's shift sign whatever this is. So shift sign the answer to what you put in the calculator. And that should give you 27.99. I'll write it all down 27.99241211. I'm not going to round at this stage because I know I'm doing a multiple stage question. I'm going to use this answer. So that's our x there. I don't really want the angle, I want this one here. But Luckily, we know the angles in the triangle are up to 180 degrees. So our angle up here, I'm going to call it C. So our angle is 180 minus 48 minus the answer we just got. And that gives us... 104.0075879. So that's our C. So that's our angle at the top of the triangle, 104 point, etc. And then we've got 57 and 36 next to it. So 57 and 36 next to it. And that's perfect for half A, B, C, and C. So the area is half times, so this is big C, half A, B, sin C. Big C is the angle, that's our 104.0075879. And then it doesn't matter which way around A and B are, so we'll just have 57, 36, sine, and then our answer to the previous question or you can type it out again 104.0075879 you put this into the calculator and it should give you to three significant figures 995 meters squared